edition of About Angler, you might have spotted scientist Brian Ford telling me white lies about white holes. Well, despite saying we wouldn't let him come back for a year, we've given him another chance. We sent him to Cambridge to investigate the building of the pyramids, and this time, I promise, it's for real. <laughs> They were more ancient to Jesus than Jesus is to us. The pyramids are a wonder, an incredible feat of engineering, even by today's standards. They were built four and a half thousand years ago, and yet we still don't know for sure how they did it. It is one of the enduring mysteries that has baffled scientists for centuries. I've come to the Department of Engineering at Cambridge University to find out more about how they might have built that pyramid. The facts are that it was the world's first ever skyscraper. It's the height of a 50-story building. It's built of enough limestone blocks to build a wall around France. Not that I'm suggesting anybody wants to. And each block weighed over two and a half tons. The biggest problem is that they did all this in 20 years. So if they were working flat out, They'd have had to lay a block every two and a half minutes. No one has ever known how they could have done it, but here, Nick Parry may have found the answer. Of course, the thing about your department, Dr. Parry, are these amazing scale models. Yes, Brian, models are an essential way of studying engineering problems. Now, with these pyramids, most people assume that you could just stick the block on rollers and drag them. It looks good on paper, it doesn't actually work in practice. Or what about a sled? Well, that has problems too, and I'd like to show you what these are. Okay. I have here, Brian, a 12-pound block of concrete on a model sled on a reasonably low friction surface, okay. which is horizontal, and I'm going to try and pull this with tiny bits of cotton. They're just two tiny bits of cotton. That's all okay. I'm using. And it's going. So we can just yes. do that. And that's the same thickness proportionately as their ropes would have been, of course. Yes, it also means that a relatively small number of men could have uh, sure. pulled... Uh, so why wasn't this really a good idea? Well, of course, uh, in order to raise the stones up the pyramid, it had to be taken up with ramps. Oh, of course, yeah. And the ramps would have been quite steep if yep. you can have a practical ramp system. So here we've built ourselves a ramp. One in four. Oh, one in four, which would be a suitable slope for okay. the ramp system. Now, I'll try again to okay. pull this up the ramp. Heave, slaves. Come along, you can do better than that. Ah, and they both um, <laughs> Yes, well, that rather proves the point, doesn't it? Well, I think it does, yes. <laughs> I believe these provided the solution to the problem, which date from a later period in the pyramid, but thought to have been used in the construction of the pyramid in some way. They found a lot of these little rockery things. Yeah, quite they? a lot of them. Uh, models of them were found, yes. Yeah. Well, they looked like rockers, and that's what they were assumed to be originally, but in fact they're quarter circles. And if you put four of these around a block, you can create a circle and roll the block. Oh, right. Have you got a model for that? Of course. We can show you that. That's brilliant. Right, now we'll put this on here. And we're going oh, to look at that. That's very wonderful. Very and it could be done at speed as well, of course. Oh, very quickly, yes. Ah, but would it work in real life, I hear you ask? This block is the same size as those used in the pyramids. The Japanese engineers built a one-in-four ramp, like the ones we believe they used in ancient Egypt. A gentle pull, and up she goes. Two and a half tons rolled uphill with amazing ease. We can't prove that this was how they did it until someone discovers a wall painting or an ancient papyrus which confirms it. But Dick Parry is the first to demonstrate an easy way to move gigantic stone blocks that was available to the builders of the pyramids. Those ancient Egyptians, they certainly know how to keep a secret. They do, don't they? Yeah, what a wonder it is. Of the it? world. Of the world, yeah. Well, that's all we have time for tonight, but About Anger is back on Thursday with the latest in arts and entertainment in the ticket, and of course, as ever, loads more. Hope you can join us on Thursday at 5.25 from us both. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.